YouTubers and all those who happen to watch. Alright, so we've got here a little bit of a tutorial. Now, before you think, oh god, he's using the quick cam, I think it doesn't really matter as long as you guys can see generally what's happening here with this 15 minute duration. Alright. So what we're going to be doing here for you today is showing you how to make a 3D effect with drawing. It's quite easy, it's not hard, and it's something really simplistic. Um, you can use more shapes than what I'm about to use, so again, it's not that big of a deal. So, alright, first thing we're going to want to do is obviously we're going to want to put an outline. Now, I like to do a little bit of a big outline. So we're just going to try this out for you, see how big that gets? Alright, just showing you generally the color. Now we're going to click that out so that way you can see. Now we're going to grab the paintbrush, or the, I'm sorry, the paintbrush, the um, fill-in tool, and we're going to be basically making some magic here. So the next thing you want to do, make sure this is centered. It generally doesn't matter if it's centered, centered or not, but this, of course, will just give you an easier way to um, look at it after. So, okay, next thing you want to do is grab, make sure this is off, the next color you want to pick. So we're just going to pick a red, because red, you know, it's easier to see. Now you're, gonna under, you're probably going to ask me, why the hell is that around there? It's going to help, it's just going to help give the um, some of this a little bit of f effect. So now we're going to make a second layer. Now I'm just busting your chops. I'm not going to make a second layer. But, okay, first thing we're going to want to do, actually, yeah, we have to. We're going to obviously want to give this a little bit of a dark effect. So what we're going to do here is grab this, going to our 3D orbs, more. Now you're going to notice here these are defaulted a little bit. So, first thing we're going to want to do is obviously make this one so the secondary a little bit transparent. And we're going to make this one, you know, obviously a little bit of white. Now, we're going to test that out. If it doesn't work, obviously we're going to alter it. See, it's going to do a little effect like that. You can see already how it looks, right? We're going to want to do this effect, however, we're going to be doing it on this, the actual color right there. We're going to highlight the red. Now, I do this early on because it's just easier that way. But, alright. Now we're going to want to go into the magic little magic wand. I'm going to want to highlight this one specifically. I'm going to go into this. And now we're just going to go like that. Now you can already notice how the color is changed, how it's nice. It looks different. It already looks almost 3D-ish. So, got to get rid of that. Now, again, this is going to look a little bit choppy. I mean, if you're using Paint Shop or whatever, that's fine. But I'm using Paint.net, the quote-unquote ghetto, um, fabulous paint program, which it does a really good job. It's A lot of people just give it flack because of the fact that they just torrent their copies of whatever. So, Alright, we're going to do this now on the third layer. And we're going to give us a little bit of a little bit of a smear. A smear. That's right. Okay, so now we're going to highlight this part right here. Go into effects, and we want this to blur. I'm just actually guys I'm just busting your chops you don't do that at all <laughs> people are probably like doing that already going damn it <laughs> so I'm gonna go into this effect again <laughs> you guys are probably like doing that going oh all right this looks this doesn't look that bad oh god he's lying but all right as you can see right here everything looks black around it which is not necessarily a good thing so I don't want to Bring that, bring that to light. Uh, first one, we're gonna make that more lighter. Or give it a little bit of. There we go. Let's 
too dark so if you want to adjust it obviously you go into this and make it a little bit apparent so after you do that obviously you wanna leave it like that for now and then one the third layer here you can notice right now that does not look anything really irrelevant I'm gonna go into distort go into insert blurs my bad I'm gonna go into a little bit of a motion blur and you notice that's at 100 at 25 percent they're gonna notice right there that it looks even looks better there right at 60 you leave it at 100 it looks like a sh nice shiny effect now we're going to obviously go into this and just click out now you're going to notice that this part right here looks almost like an orb now you're probably asking what's the point of doing this part now well I'm going to show you right now exactly what this white bit is for now I'm going to effects was it effects? yep I'm going to go into glow and give that little bit of a glowy effect radius a nice glowy effect now it's going to look still a little pixelated as you can probably tell from a uh, distance standpoint so again we're going to want to make sure that was still on there I was just unhighlighting next I wanted to see check the the consistency and how distorted it or how unprofessional it actually looks now sharpen is a pretty dangerous tool meaning it can either make things look improved or make things look like crap so you can see this ball right here it looks alright so far I mean, granted, it should not. I mean, if you really wanted to be specific, you don't even have to really use this. Keep this here. This is just for fun. But as you can see right there, though, it does give it some character or it gives it a marker, so to speak. I mean, you could probably plant this on like some project, like uh, well, let's see, like I don't know, like a sword or a robot or you know something creative. You can probably think of it out of your minds, but that's generally. how it would look and I should have but yeah that generally is how you make a 3d ish orb so if you guys got any questions please let me know in the comments down below and uh, take it easy folks take care